Piggy. Okay, hi, this is Ruben Gonzalez. I'm gonna make a short video about how to take care of your lower back, because everybody has back pain these days. Uh, the luge, I've been doing the luge on and off for about 30 years, and the luge is really uh, hard on your lower back, because the start, you're doing this, basically, right? But a lot more violently. A lot of disc problems, a lot of back injuries, a lot of back surgeries, right? And uh, the first 15, 20 years of doing it, I always had a bad back. And then I started learning and reading about how to take care of it. And uh, right after the, uh, the Vancouver Olympics, about a year afterwards, I was lifting up this heavy bag and I felt something weird, right? And then I'm sitting in the plane with my wife and as soon as I sat, sat, sat down on the plane, I heard and I felt something pop and I thought, great, that's a disc, I'm done, end of career. That was seven years, more than seven years, 10 years ago. And I babied my back for about seven years. I gained all this weight. I didn't do anything. I was playing it safe because here I thought, you know, I've got a bad disc. But I didn't want to get surgery, so I just didn't do anything. And then a friend of mine who's also a, a Luge Olympian, he told me about this book. Uh, he said, read this book with an open mind, okay? It's called Healing Back Pain by Dr. John Sarno. Uh, and this book changed my life. I, I read it with an open mind. I did the exercises. Some of, some of them are here, some of them are here, right? And within two weeks, the pain went away. It was crazy. And it turns out that 80% of the people in the United States have back pain. And 80 or 90% of those are, are psychological, right? You, you get tense, you're mad at somebody, you're, uh, you're, you're just holding the emotions inside and, and it goes to your back and, 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 and that's where you feel it. And so um, only 20% or less, 10% might be where there's actual problem, right? They actually did a study, a thousand MRIs of people with no back pain and then they showed those MRIs to doctors and the doctors could find irregularities and and bad things things that potentially uh, They could have used to uh, to operate on you, right? And so bottom line everybody's back has irregularities the spine does and uh, And most of the time it's not a physical thing. It's so so this book changed my life now Let me show you a couple of things before we go loose, right, before we're going to do one of those starts out in the cold, we do, you know, we warm up, right? We jog around a little bit, then we do a few of these, and then we'll do a few of these. And gently, right, we're, not, we're just trying to warm up and loosen up everything. But in the morning, whenever I do this, and this only takes 5 to 10 minutes in the morning, whenever I do this, right, I do, I do 50, but do as many as you want. You lay down, sit up, curls, actually, right, crunches like this. Not with your feet like this. If you put your feet like this, then your hip flexor, your legs are doing half of the work. But if you open them up like this, right? And you're just doing this, you're warming it up, right? And it's mostly abs doing the work, not, not your hip flexors. And you know, I, I do 50, because that's just me. After 50, then I'll turn around and I'll do this. About 50 of these, right? And not hard. Gentle, right? I'm just trying to warm it up. Then after that, I'll do a few of these, about 10 of these. See, opposite leg. That helps all of the nerves fire both sides of the brain. And it's helping with, you know, uh, what you're doing is not only warming it up, but it's almost like you're aligning it. It's like you're going to a chiropractor and you're aligning it. You know, when you're laying down in bed all night, who knows? You're twisted up and you're stiff. But you do this and it loosens everything up. Uh, another thing that's good, that's it, okay? If you want to go further, that thing is the enemy. That black thing over there, the chair, sitting down is the worst because it misaligns everything. You know, when you've been sitting down, first thing you want to do is do this. And so, just after you did those sit-ups, just stretch yourself out like this, just gently, right? You're just letting your belly down like that. Right? You're just trying to roll around a little bit. You're just trying to get everything back in shape, back in the right position, right? And uh, another one is, they call this a, a cat, right? You're making like a cat that's scared. And then this one is called a cow, right? You move. So your belly down, and then just a few. And that's just getting it all in shape where it's working, the way it's supposed to be. 
I actually bought this desk over here so I can so I can work here a few hours of the day, right? And this is good because it keeps you, you know, I just, you know, I, my, my monitor broke. I had to get another monitor. But this is a good place. You get used to working like this, it's good for your back. They're saying that uh, besides cigarettes, sitting down is the worst thing for your back, right? And then uh, this ball, excellent too, right? You can, some people work like this, not my style. It just doesn't work for me, right? But it does keep your core straight. And then you can do crunches this way too, right? Now, another tip. When I do my crunches, I got this little bag, this little pillow, and that goes under my lower back. And by doing them that way, it's actually a little bit harder, right? It's supporting my lower back, but I have to go uphill, right? So that's something that I use. And this roller is awesome. This little thing, you can get a cheap one at Walmart. Mine's got a hole in it because I, when I travel, I stuff my clothes inside here. It goes in my bag. But this thing, after you've been sitting for a while, this is the poor man's massage, okay? I, mean, I, I just heard everything pop when I did that, just like that. Now, over the part where I have ribs, right, where your ribs are, you can be, you know, you can arch your back a bit, right? But over here, in the lower back, where there's no ribs to support you, then when you go down there, then you want to tighten up a little bit. Otherwise, it's too much pressure. And then you can go further. Especially if your back pain went down to your butt, where you're feeling it, and you just go like that, right? And this thing is amazing. When I first got this, it hurt like crazy, all right? Because I had all these knots in my back. And, uh, and it hurt, but I kept doing it. And then... The knots, I guess they got kneaded out, and, and now when I do it, it's awesome. It feels so good. So, so that's it. Read that book. You don't have to do all these exercises. You can just do a few, but the sit-ups, the, the, uh, the arching, that's good. And then anything to open up those hip flexors is good too, right? So, so that will help your back. And uh, if you're like me, hey, it was all right here. <laughs> Make an Olympic day.